The giant squid is thought to have the most acute vision of any animal, because for eyes, size matters. So that would be how big their eye is? They would fit in this whole space like that? That's it. Wow. The eye would be deep in this or sticking out? It would be very much uh, lateral and shaped much like a, t a car tire. But what's popped out of that little aperture that you've got there is the lens. I've got here the other eye this side, by the way. Let's just see if it's got the lens in there. How about if I hold this up? Yeah, that's help? useful. OK, we well, can see that actually there is the lens there, look. And you, oh, that's brilliant. You can actually see the two halves joined together here perfectly. See that? Oh, that is cool. The lens is still attached. Can yeah. you see that? I've done about 130 of these, and I have never seen that before. That's pretty remarkable. The squid eye and the vertebrate eye are really very similar. They've converged on the same pattern from very different starting points. There is an interesting and revealing difference. The squid eye is, you might say, well designed because the retina is the right way round, with the light sensitive cells pointing towards the light and then the nerve cells connecting them to the brain coming off from behind in the way that a good engineer would have designed them and then going off to the brain that way. In the vertebrate eye, in our eye, the light sensitive cells are pointing backwards and the nerve cells connecting them to the brain go over the surface of the retina and then dive through the retina in the so-called blind spot on their way to the brain. In spite of this, the vertebrate eye does work uh, very well. It's a good example in evolution of recovery from what might at first sight have looked like bad design. <laughs>